Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode. What is up, gamers? Shroud? It's Shroud. I am here today to play Carball and teach you a thing or two. There's no way. You play Rocket League? I play Rocket League every day in my spare time, and it's about time I show who's boss. Okay, take, take, the, take the controller. You can play. All right, I guess I'm just sitting back today. We're going to be watching Shroud play some Rocket League. We're going to be jumping into the first games here, and uh, he's going to take over. We've done three out of ten placement matches. We actually played Shroud uh, a few episodes ago in episode number 15, if you saw that. So we're jumping into the next games and uh, see how Shroud plays these. Let us get right into the matches. Alright, so for today, Shroud's taking over the controller and uh, last episode we left off at about Platinum 1. Uh, which is about where we were in the, seri uh, the series before the season reset. But let's see how how Shroud play Cacti. I don't think I can even... <laughs> I don't think I can hold on to this joke for that much longer. Um, let's see if uh, we can get a win here. Um, Poppy's got the, the dribbles and nice little play around the uh, the opponent. So what he did there was didn't go directly on target. If you play 1v1s, you'll find out that not going on target is actually smarter most of the time. Because a lot of people, what they will do is they'll block the direct angle on target. So if you just go around them first and get a little bit of ball control, you can find those openings like that. And Poppy did a really good job. So come in and hit that ball real quick. And then go for the mid boost. So this is over my head. I can leave this for my teammate. It's really good. You see me leaving that, that for him? Oh, he's, oh my goodness. Okay, well that's just open. Um, really good pass there. Um, as you can see, that worked out really well because my teammate has so much speed on the ball compared to me. I'm kind of just floating there in mid. So, I'm able to just leave that for for, <laughs> for uh, my teammate. And every time I see my scoreboard in the, uh, the Shroud photo, this just makes me laugh. But I don't think anybody can see me. Okay, you know, it, Breadcrumb can. Let's see if he can go. Okay, this guy's nuts. Look at him go. I'm going to pop this up. Off backboard. Good fake. A little bit of an awkward touch, but right here I can take this. Good. I really like my teammate's rotations. He's letting me come in and get the touch. Early touch kind of booms at mid, but I'll be there. A little bit of a miss. That's okay, though. Try not to use too much boost. Good pass. I'll just pop it off the side. Obviously, that's open, but I don't think I'm going to pass it middle. Teammate uh, wasn't in mid, but I could have obviously... No, no, no. That's fine. I could have just shot that. Um, you're probably expecting me to shoot that. Right here, it's awkward, but... Um, in these situations, you can just let the ball come around and then try to get, get a challenge. It's okay because my teammate's behind me already. Right here, I'll go first. Sounded like my that opponent had the alpha boost or something. So right now, I have space to pop this off the backboard really nice and high. It'll probably bounce down. It's a good clear. Right here, I can let the ball bounce to me first, then take it around. Even take it to the sidewall right here and keep control. Get a good 50-50. I'll just come up and make a challenge. Pop it out in the middle. Teammate's going out for it. Bit of a tough read. I wouldn't say that's worth going for since the ball's popping past the goal. That's a good try. Once again, I can take possession over here and then bring it to the wall. That guy's challenging, but right here you can kind of just fall off the wall. That's a little bit more complicated, but like I said, if you go to training and, and try out those aerials, you'll get used to them. Nice 50-50. That's okay. So right here, I'm looking to the right with my stick to see if there's anybody near me. Pop it up nice and high, see what they do with it. Good save. Could be my teammate shooting it, and there we go. Good finish. So what I do there is just wait for the ball to bounce above my car, and I just do a quick front flip. And you see how much power um, that pops up into into the the, uh, the area for the net. And they do get a good save, well, a decent save. It wasn't great. They didn't save it to the corner. But that gives us a chance to uh, get a shot on like my teammate did. Right here, I'm going to get a 50-50. No way for my teammate. Now what's he got? All right, good 50, 50 If he got a bit bigger flick there, I was I was uh, on the ball for him. Right here, I see my teammate can't really see me. You gotta kind of put your sh your uh, your mind in the shoes of your teammate or the opponents, what they can see. You gotta remember if they are in ball cam, um, if they're in ball cam, then they see a certain thing. If they're in car cam, then they see a certain thing. So you gotta think about that all the time. And as you play, um more Rocket League and more, uh, you know, positions on the field and get used to certain situations. Like right here, I see Breadcrumbs probably looking at the ball. And same with the opponent. So right here, I can kind of just pop this towards net. Obviously, didn't shoot it. We're up three goals. Don't need to keep scoring. Let's see what Breadcrumbs got here. Okay. 
bit awkward here, but that's okay if it pops over me because my team is right behind me. I can rotate back to net. So right here, I'm just going to wait in middle. Pop it. Not doing anything too crazy. A little bit of a bump. I'll just stay with this. You can force a 50-50. If you see, I drive, drive into the ball and then do a late flip. Like I missed. That's okay. It's a high ball. I can try for this though. I'm going to pop it off backboard. Obviously, I could shoot that, but you know, this is platinum. <laughs> See if Poppy can come here and pass. It's a good shot. It's a good save too. Keeps possession for them. Silvat should be on this ball now. Once again, late 50 50 CO. I'm just waiting for him to touch the ball first. Those can be so useful when we get another goal. Um, in this kind of rank where you're in like gold or silver or, or even platinum, uh, you have positions where um, you can just wait for the, the players to hit the ball to you first because you're off the ball and they just kind of throw the ball away. A lot of players will just front flip. And give it away obviously if people listen to the tips of other pros that say to hold on to the ball they uh will start to hold on to it more and that's where you have to like start to adjust but you'll find that the level of play does increase when people start to hold on to possession and make better plays so yeah that's platinum two players once again so we're still moving up in the ranks slowly in these uh placement matches i hope if we win all the games we don't move up too fast but i think we're just moving up uh generally slow here so let's we'll keep it going and see how the next game goes got game number two we got willy where where <laughs> And Zella, who thinks I'm Shroud. Let's go. A little bit of an awkward pop. Just gonna wait. Got lots of space here, so I can turn on the ball like this, and then if they challenge, I can flick it up. It's a good shot. Right here, I'm gonna move behind my teammate. Bit of an awkward 50 50. And there's two players on it. I'm last, so I'm just gonna fake this. I'll pop it off the, the side wall here. Awkward ball. A little bit of a bump, that's fine. So that guy throw the, threw the ball away a little bit. He's got an aerial touch. Good save. Good follow-up too. So he bounced off the sidewall and then follows up the clear. And now I can wait behind. Right here. Pop up nice and high. It's really awkward for them. Even if he gets an aerial touch, see how it comes to me? So I just wait for that next touch and then I can pop it middle. It's a good try. So right here I can see that the, they could attack that. So I want to just push it to the corner. Nice try. Good 50-50 for the opponents. Should be able to get back and get this boost. We're getting into much better players now, though. So you can see that the games are a little more intense. I just sit there and wait for him to pass it to me. To the middle. Nice shot. So I just hit it off that side wall. It wasn't that complex. All I did was just touch the ball off the side, off the backboard, and then he came and cleared. I don't think it was that that complex. There's there's players that were doing more than that in the previous games, as you saw in the first first episode. Um, but there, all I do is just fall off the wall and just make a front flip uh, to pop off the backboard. They weren't able to get behind in time. There we go. It's a good clear out to mid. Spectre's scared though because the opponent uh, is touching the ball. A teammate, I mean, obviously. I'm going to clear this above with the back uh, front flip, and I get the boost. And then here, my teammate's barreling in, which is fine. I'm just going to stay close to the ball right here. Force a 50-50. Like that. Let's see what the opponent's got. So it's been an awkward touch. He's going to go for the boost first, so I can just touch this. See if my teammate can come in. Close. Get behind. Right here, I'm first since he's taking such a long time. So I just drive into the ball and make a big clear. Not too complicated. Just, just see that the ball's going to roll up the... The backboard. It's a decent 50 50. Good patience, good shot. It's a little bit off, but that's okay. Willie's going to clear to the corner. Now my teammate can make a touch. That's really bad because it's going to go right to the opponent. But because he backflipped, I know that I have space here. So I can let the ball do the work and come to the, the, back, the back corner and then make a flip. Should really grab this boost too with a quick turn. It's a decent shot. Willie's going to beat me to this, I can tell. So I'm just going to wait behind. Makes a big clear. I see four play or three players on the ball, so I don't want to be the one to jump up or bunch up with them. And that might just be in. Oh, nice try to save that. Nice little shot from uh, Shroud there. As you can see, once again, that, that situation where he's he's uh, first to it, technically. But I just wait for him to make the touch, and then I go ahead of the ball. And that makes the shot a little more uh, in our favor. Decent 50 to the side. Zella should get that mid boost. Which means Willie's going to get the back corner. So I'm keeping tabs on who has boost. And I know that Willie has a lot of boost here, but he might turn on it. 
Spectre's backing off. Good hit from Zella. Hit it to the side. Zella could probably follow this up, which he does. Now we got some space. Good try. So I see there's a space because that ball that player is committed ahead of the ball with that aerial. And all I have to do is just sit and wait. Spectre can probably follow this up with a with a little bit of boost, which he does. It's a bad clear. You don't want to hit it like that. You could shoot it. They do miss though. Just showing you like kind of like a bad aerial. You could hit that to the corner, make sure it doesn't pop off the backboard. Season 50-50. A little bit scary there, but we'll back off. Spectre misses. So that flip ends up throwing him off the ball and get a clear towards net. Spectre can clear it now. So I'm just going to get behind. Bit of a bad touch, but of course a 50-50 here again. Once again, I'm just letting him jump into the ball and then make 50-50s. You can see how those are so potent against these kind of players. I'm going to pop this middle for my teammate. Good try. Bit of a miss, but it also faked out one of the opponents, so it kind of worked out. Right here, you can aerial for this. It's a little bit spooky. Probably, uh, you can, if you go faster, it's definitely more of a convincing win there. A bad backflip. Pop it towards net, but not on target. Just put it off to the side. It's a good clear. Once again, another 50-50. A little bit of one in the, the opponent's favor, but we'll get behind. And you can see, like, like there are players that are doing aerials like that in, in Platinum. It's a good demo. Gets rid of the other player. So I know that because that player is dead, I can stay with his ball. Right here, I'm just going to wait for the, the commit and then pop it off the backboard. This guy's all over me. <laughs> Ouch. Alright, so there's 17 seconds left. If we spawn here, it's pretty good. I really don't like those RNG in the spawns. We got a good decent clear. It should be the last few seconds here. Teammate honestly did pretty good for this game. I'm going to pop this middle again. He was right behind me, but that's okay, though, because we're up two goals. I'm going to try to pass the middle for that final shot. But we do get a win here. And uh, Zella honestly played really well. And uh, we'll see how the next game goes. So we're moving up in the ranks quite quickly. Um, through Platinum, at least. At least we're seeing Platinum 3s on our team. Uh, don't blame me on my team. I, tr trust me, man. I won't blame you. Don't worry about it. And we got a Jedi. Okay, we can't win. We can't uh, uh, win against a Jedi. We got Jiminy Crimbus. <laughs> These names are awesome. I'm gonna pop this off the backboard pretty high. Just get a nice little flick. And get behind my teammate. See what he does. Bit of an awkward clear. So right here I can see the ball's gonna roll to me. If I go quickly up the wall, I can pop it to mid. And then stay with the ball. I'm gonna pop it downfield. Just get a nice little clear. If you take your time to go to the right side of the ball, you can definitely put that on target. See if my teammate's got it. Oh my goodness, he's cracked! <laughs> All right, I said that tone. Don't worry about it. I meant that one. But that was a good shot for my teammate. Let's see if uh, he can follow up in the corner. So he gets the boost first. And you see, I don't really have to go back all the way to get the boost because I can get a bunch of pads. Pop it off the middle. See if the opponents want to make it clear. I kind of throw the ball to my teammate. Get the follow up on the sidewall. Now I'm here for this one. I'm gonna pop off backward once again. Oh my goodness. That bump from Jiminy Crimbus. Okay. Just waiting for the next touch. I follow it up. It's going to stay with it. Got a kill. We'll see if the, uh, my teammate can make a shot. It's a good try. See so how now in these ranks, you can see people are following up the touches off the off that backboard. Which is good. Good clear. We'll loop up behind my teammate. We can try to make a challenge. Really good. Now I see Krimbus is maybe going to beat me, but he's a little bit slow, so with that bump, I can go in and make a touch. It's a good try. Once again, these touches off the backboard are a little bit dangerous. He kind of threw the ball away, though, and the uh, the opponent actually helped him. His teammate helped him there, so that was good. It's a good clear. Those are hard to deal with when the ball bounces quickly. Let's see what Jimmy Krimbus has got. Good loop wide. You can see how that works really well, but he did miss anyway, but it's good for you to loop wide there and try to make the clear around the net. See what Don't Blame Me does. There's two players on the on the ball here. See how I watch middle? I can get the uh, the touch here and just pop it mid. Jiminy Krimis is going to make a turn. Once I see that my teammate's not set up for that touch, I immediately start to bail. You want to start your recovery as soon as possible. And that's going to get you back and ready to defend for your teammate's first man positioning sooner than later. The Jedi should make a clear here. It might be bad. 
See if my teammate can come in, make a shot. Oh. Close. So right here I can take the ball back. Let the ball do the work. I'll loop wide again. Go go net side. And then make it clear. The 50-50 with Jiminy Krimbus actually kind of helped us. Um, but it would have been good either way if he wasn't there. See my teammate wanting to go so I didn't want to commit with a flip. Sometimes just having the patience to wait is uh, what will differentiate you and the opponents in the in the game. Especially in like these ranks. If you're just a little more patient, make sure you recognize... I don't want to talk anymore. I suck! I'm just kidding. That was a pretty bad 50-50, not going to lie, but I won't blame him. Uh, <laughs> you know, a little bit more goal side there and it wouldn't be in our net, but it's okay. It happens. We'll see with this 50-50 what happens here. Pop it off the wall really fast. And then I'll hit this really hard off the backboard. Bit of a clear. Pop this once for my teammate so it goes a little bit closer to him. Get patience by my teammate to get in there. Teammate is struggling. I mean, the opponent is struggling, and we got another goal. So, nice one. So, we redeemed ourselves. Brought it back. So, that little touch that I brought back gave the ball a little more pace towards my teammate than the opponent. Um, a lot of the times, like, when you're the same distance from a, um, a player, you got to think about which way the ball is rolling, too. Because if the ball is rolling towards you, you have the advantage. If it's rolling towards your opponent, your teammate has... I mean, your opponent has the advantage. So, you got to think about if the ball's rolling towards the opponents, and uh, you're in a position where you want to try and challenge. You got to think about whether or not the uh, the ball uh, is actually closer to you in reality because sometimes looks can be deceiving. Like right here, the ball's still rolling towards me, so I can actually turn on this just to prove my point. I'll beat him there. Um, him ch chasing up isn't a big deal as long as I know that the ball's rolling towards me and closing the gap a little earlier. So that challenge is decent because it actually made him lose the ball. It's a really good save. We'll turn early here and just make a shot. Or maybe a pass. That was genius. <laughs> uh, let's say that was on purpose. Yay! That was, uh, that was good. Nice little pass and a player left. I honestly did not even mean to do that. I meant to pop it really high, but I was airling so bad for that that it actually like worked out even better. So this is what I was talking about, like... This game's kind of RNG sometimes. You never know what's going to happen. Um, the opponents could choose to challenge you or not. And it really just comes down to a random chess match. So we have uh, a 1v1 here for my teammate who scores again. So I'm just going to chill. He's got four goals. Like I said, I don't think I'm doing too much because my teammate's popping off as well. So Jimmy Kermis will we'll, uh, forfeit here. We got another win under our belts. I think we're uh, 6 out of 10 now. And uh, Shroud, honestly, is a god gamer at Rocket League. Who would have known? So, hope you guys enjoyed that episode. That was definitely a little bit of a funny intro. <laughs> um, I just thought uh, I would use this one. Thanks to the person who uh, recommended this name. If you want to recommend another name for, for the future of this video, uh, the video series, uh, just leave it in the comments. And uh, with the most liked comments, I will check out and make sure I use them in the series. But hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, I will catch you guys in the next episode.